Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in. This is an important video because if you're wondering if your baby food has fluoridated water in it, has fluoride in it, then this video is for you. Or if you know somebody who's a new parent who has a baby and buys baby food, please forward this video to them and share it with them. My conclusion is that yes, unfortunately, baby food that lists water as an ingredient has fluoride in it because the water listed is not even filtered it's municipal water meaning it's water from the top that they're using in organic and non-organic baby food products and per municipality rules in a lot of places in the United States water municipal water tap water is indeed fluoridated so when they add fluoridated water municipal water as an ingredient into baby food unfortunately it will have that fluoride and that's why we're gonna return all baby food pouches with water that's listed as an ingredient because we want the best for our baby and we don't want fluoride we don't want fluoride for ourselves and definitely not for our baby because we know it's straight up poison I did call the companies and our full transcript is at the end of the video so you can see what they say for yourself you can even call them if you'd like so the first company I called is known as Earth's Best and it's certified organic and with a name like that you would at least expect that they filter their water but no it just says water which means it's unfiltered municipal tap water then I called Plum Organics and they had exactly the same answers for all of my questions they said it's municipal water and they follow the municipal rules which means that they follow rules set up by that local government which is very likely fluoridating the water they stated that they the company doesn't add fluoride to the product but they didn't deny that the water that they're using could be fluoridated avoiding direct answers to my questions to me means that the water they're using is fluoridated and that's exactly why we will not buy any product that says water so here's the full transcript of our conversation with Plum Organic Baby Products Hi, my name is Paul. And how may I help you today? I'm calling to find out. Uh, we buy your guys' product, which is uh, baby food. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, in, in this instance, is carrot, sweet potato, corned pea, and chicken. And the first ingredient is water. So we just want to make sure. Um, do you guys use like fluoridated water or? I can certainly bring up all that information for us here, sir. Um, may I just take down the that would be a, <clears throat> right on the barcode of that? Uh, below the barcode, yes. Eight four six six seven five zero zero three two five six. and that does bring up that correct pouch here for us. And I'm just going to bring up the information for uh, the water that we use here. So it looks like um, we do not add fluoride to any of the water used in the production of our products. Um, additionally, we do adhere to all requirements established by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration as well as um, the U.S. Department of Agriculture under their good manufacturing requirements. 
Um, Mr. Bond's plant is certainly monitored as well to ensure the water we use is completely safe there. So the water, is it filtered or is it like municipal water? Or is it spring water? Um, it does appear that it is uh, municipal from a municipal source there. Okay, and um, the okay municipal source in Emeryville, California? Um, let's see here. I don't believe it would be in Emeryville here. I'm just going to bring up that information for us if we have specific information for us. Thank you. So, which facility would that be? Like, what county? We do have, just, we do have different uh, facilities across the U.S. It's not just within, you know, that one uh, specific county. We uh, do take um, the ingredients from wherever, you know, their very best quality is for that. Right. The reason I'm asking where, because uh, different counties have different fluoridation mandates, different legalities for fl water fluoridation. So some fluoridate their municipal water and others don't. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not really getting um, the information I'm looking for from you. Because I, I understand, I understand that you, you guys don't add the fluoride, but since you use municipal water, the municipality... Um, may add fluoride or may not add depending on the location of the processing plant for this and we want to make sure you know we don't want to hurt our baby um, if the water is fluoridated municipally we don't want our baby consuming fluoride and that that's why i want to uh, make sure that your guys water doesn't have municipal fluoride in it okay i do understand where you're coming from with that you know i do have a little one that that we provide um, the Plum Organics products too, so um, I certainly do understand where you're coming from with that. I do know, like I said, that all of um, our products, we do not add fluoride to any of the water used in the production of our products with that. Um, I don't have a specific county here, as like I said, that we do just kind of manufacture our products in different counties throughout the U.S., but um, you can be rest assured regardless that all of the water, as well as all of the ingredients used in our products, does have to be um, completely, you know, tested and everything such as that. We would only provide the very best. Right, um, and that's why, you know, we, we buy your products. Um, but, so, having, having that said that you guys test the water, uh, do you guys specifically test for fluoride and heavy metals as well? Um, so, I can certainly bring up that information for us here, sir. Um, so, let's see. Um, in regards to our, our products with, um, you know, heavy metals, I do know that um, all of the, say, ingredients required as well. Um, we do have them meet all government standards as regulations and go beyond them. Um, at Plum, we are constantly striving to improve our portfolio. So as a part of that ongoing commitment, our focus is on that ingredient testing. So um, we, do, we are currently creating training and guidelines for heavy metals in our ingredients. Um, so... And, you know, we do want to assure you that this is a top priority for our brand um, in order, you know, to test all of those ingredients. Okay, and where can I see the results of the test? We uh, don't have, say, a document with the results of the testing on that. Um, that is proprietary to, you know, to the company. But I do know, like I said, it does go above and beyond, uh, say, like, the federally required Okay. 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 I, I mean, sure, proprietary, sure. I don't understand. Transparency, I understand. If you said it's, you know, you guys want to be more transparent, then I would understand that the proprietor of the test 
I don't really understand that part. It's not like somebody's gonna say, "Oh, we're gonna mimic all the toxins in your in your food or something like that." So um, I don't understand that. But um, okay, so, okay. You know, we do we do have you know uh, quite a few steps in regards to the testing. I do just want to assure you how seriously um, you know we do take that. Um, so all of our products to start with. Um, you know, would have to certainly have the USDA organic certification. Um, so in order right. to do that, they must undergo a variety of audits as well as certification. Right. Um, we do also partner with Najimo product right. project there. Um, all new ingredient suppliers do have to complete a um, food ingredient survey, which has information such as the nutrition composition, mm -hmm. allergens, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. microbiological specifications with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do test all of our new contracted ingredients for heavy metals before we even, you know, would think about purchasing that ingredient. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do regularly audit our suppliers there. Um, and the suppliers, they, they are U.S.-based or they're international? As far as the raw, we do we do try to source all of our ingredients domestically whenever whenever possible. With that, um, due to seasonality for some ingredients such as apples, um, we would have to source them from other regions to ensure we have the freshest available. Uh, but you can be uh, assured that regardless of where we um, do source them, they certainly do have to have the exact same. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, I guess final question, are you guys related to the Earth's Best brand? Um, no, sir, that would not be part of our brand. Okay, because I called them with similar questions and they had exactly the same responses and they have very similar looking pouches for baby food as you guys do, so that's why I'm, I'm wondering. Okay. okay, well thank you for your responses, I appreciate it. Absolutely. I do want to thank you so much, you know, for reaching out to us here today and allowing us the opportunity to talk. Um, would you like to leave any, say, contact information here just to document your call? It's fine. I'll save the trouble. Okay. Thank you again so much for your um, help. My pleasure, sir. I do want to thank you for reaching out to us here as well. And you hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. You too. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.